what is up everybody this is heavy today i wanted to talk about Rye, the black sun this is in my opinion the hardest boss in the game considering how early it appears in your monolith progression it is a very mechanical boss and a lot of new players are unprepared or overwhelmed by it it is very unforgiving and has a lot of deadly mechanics so we're all on the same page uh, we're talking about uh, the black sun timeline one of the possible two timelines in your monolith in today's video i wanted to uh, go over all the abilities uh, of this particular boss and how to deal with them i wanted to do this video in particular because with the just recently released multiplayer beta patch 0.9 we have a lot of influx of new players and from my past experience this boss can be a big hurdle for these players so let's dive right in Here's an overview of all of his five abilities. Skyfall. Dive Bomb. Wave Dash. Void Blast. Void Flare. This boss only deals void damage. For the normal version, I would recommend having between 1 and 1 1.5 thousand health, depending on how much void resistance and other damage reductions you have. I would also recommend at least 25 to 30 percent increased movement speed. Be careful with enemy modifiers, as those will affect the boss. If you have some of these stacked that grant percentage increased damage, you definitely need even more defense. In this gameplay example, I will deliberately get hit by some abilities, so you can get an idea of how deadly they are. All of these abilities are tankable, if you have proper defense and have not stacked too many dangerous monolith modifiers. Quick note, this is the level 68 normal monolith version without any modifiers. When the boss is rushing to the edge of the arena, he is always about to charge at your character with the wave dash. You will have a brief moment before he dashes. You can use this to direct the boss where you want it to dash. The most common mistakes during Void Flare are being greedy with damaging the boss, or rushing too fast, running into the not yet exploded section. For the wave dash you can also decide to just stand still in the middle of the arena until the boss dashes and then move to one of the halves of the arena. The Skyfall ability is the least deadly and can be usually used as a DPS phase unless there are several meteors overlapping. Having high void resistance is definitely the easiest thing to mitigate damage from this boss. But capping void resistance is definitely not mandatory if you at least have a good amount of health or other defensive layer. But while playing through your first and second monolith timeline, I would definitely keep an eye out for void resistance gear to prepare for this boss. One more thing worth noting, that this boss is not affected by modifiers to cast speed, neither positive nor negative. This means Enrage, Frenzy or Chill or other similar effects will not have any effect. The boss can use the Void Blast ability up to three times in a row. This ability can be avoided the best by moving straight through the boss. If you have a movement or defensive skill, 
I would only recommend using that when you are sure that you will not make it out. Last but not least, the most important ability, the dive bomb. This is by far the most deadly ability and should be avoided at all cost. It is fairly fast and super deadly. If you have a defensive or movement skill and you are really struggling with this boss, I would definitely recommend preemptively using this ability as soon as you see this ability, in case you don't make it out fast enough. Now to redeem myself from this purposefully bad demonstration video, here is another full take of this boss fight that is played perfectly. I really hope this video will help you dealing with this boss and if you want to see other similar content please make sure to comment down below. Big thank you to 11th Hour Games for sponsoring this video and uh, hopefully I will see you soon in the next video. Stay heavy.